adding new card holders. First go to main, go to card holders, right clicking in the section up top where you notice that up here are the card holders and down here are the associated cards when selecting on those individuals. So let's make a new person. Go to new. Just put in test. Test. You can also add banner IDs here um, manually or if there you need a department name or any other pertinent information. Go to next. You have your card holder status here and the access level that this person is allowed to have. So it defaults to active and the access level, say we just want to allow them to go to um, the art annex access level. And another tutorial will go over access levels and the individual uh, pulling over readers and time zones to those access levels. In this case, we could double click on any access level we want to bring over here. Say we also want art center, a few art centers and maybe um, maybe a, a DPS. Note that you only have a certain amount of access levels you can assign to an individual person. That does not mean that you're limited by readers. That's why you want to have a specific access level created that makes sense for your building, as well as uh, what access your, an individual person would need. But you, these are limited to eight. You can make as many access levels as you want, uh, but try to condense the amount of readers that you want by naming your access levels. We'll go to next. Access level groups, you could add those as well. And we'll go over access level groups in another tutorial. In this case, we won't use that for these, uh, for this card holder. Continue to next. Card holes are a member of all sites. You only have one site, so just have it checked and that's fine. Go to next. This is where you would badge the um, card to either your enrollment reader that you have or to a reader that's close by that you know the location. So say if it was uh, the front lobby door of public safety, you could go you could go scan that, note the time that you scanned it, and you can go over and look at what the what the card number is. You would put this card number here in this section. And then also note the facility code that is associated with that reader, uh, with that card that came through. You'll also place that here. So say we'll make up a card. And also if you want a pin number to be associated with that person, if you don't want a pin number, put uh, four zeros and that's fine. Or you can have an auto-generated pin code, which will also help you not duplicate pin codes. I would suggest using the auto-generate. It will pick one that is not already in use. Now if we go down classification, it's active, of course. Uh, card group, we can go over that in another section, but you could go assign these by department uh, for for whatever reason uh, but we'll go over that later 
if you're a um, if you're a police officer, say at uh, DPS, you don't you don't want them to have to use a pen. You can use pen exempt, and that will flag them to where the reader may be asking for card and pen. But if this card holder has pen exempt, all it will need is a card. In this case, we'll uncheck that. The extended access time is where your default um, trigger to your operator openings could be extended to instead of say 10 seconds standard, it could be extended to the 30 seconds to you know uh, whatever your setting is. It, typically it's just 30 seconds. Card status is active. Now we'll go to next. And this is where you could assign the access level to the individual card. I would actually recommend putting the access levels on the card and not on the person. You can do this either way, but I would say you're mostly keeping track of the fobs and they're going to be associated with the person anyway. So just to keep it simple for yourselves, just assign um, access levels here. And this won't hurt if we did this on the, on the previous one. We'll skip access level groups. These are for your engage locks. We'll go over these in another tutorial. But this is where you could add the individual uh, uh, engage NDE locks. You'll see a list of these here. This is pre-installation of those locks, but they will show up and you treat them the same way you do uh, the readers when you're trying to assign them to a person. Go to next, and then we'll click finish. Now this test person shows up, so if we click off of them, you'll notice these are different. Now we click on the test, our card number and facility code is here.